Hello, hello, welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika, and here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today, I just want to show you a couple pages that I did in my book of words, spell book. Um, if you didn't see my previous video that I did when I started just setting this up, this is like an ongoing thing. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and share a little bit about it. So my book of spell words, that's exactly what this is. So, um, I am a witch who doesn't like on the fly, always have the right wording, uh, to say, I like to take a little bit of this and a little bit of that from other spells. Um, whether I saw it in a book online, I heard it in a movie, you know, believe it or not. Um, but I knew I wanted like some variation of that to use in my own homemade spells. So I created this book. It's a reference book for myself so that I can always be able to have a place to go and look. So that's what I'm going to show you. So I did some updating to this the last time I showed it. It's a work in progress. So I will continue um, to be, you know, updating this. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see some of this. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Ooh get my light out the way. All right, so let me get into it. So this is like my dedication page. Um, this is definitely new. I added this page. This is basically ele the elements, but it's specific wording that I want to use. So I'll give an example um, of one of them. So I'll pick fire because that's my favorite element <laughs> that I'm most uh, drawn to and connected with. So it says here and now, I invoke the elemental force of fire. I call to the hearth fire warmth and the sun's revealing light. So the lightning strikes, lightning strike, and the meteor's blazing arc. And it just goes on. But those words are great for when I want to um, invoke or, you know, introduce uh, specific elemental uh, energy. And I want to kind of hone in on it. The, this is great for that. So I have earth, fire, air, water right here. And I look in all different places. This is Pinterest. This is inspired by Pinterest. Usually I put like a little note where I got it from. Um, I created this page also, clear communication. Um, that's what this is. So um, I use a little sticker. It looks like you're talking. So clear communication. And uh, I just have here, may our minds work together to find mutual understanding. May I see you true and be seen and kind. May our words reveal more than they obscure. And most of all, may our minds, eyes, and tongues be guided by our hearts and the language for older and the language uh, for older than words. So I like that and I think that it is great to add to like a spell and then I have here something I did money candle spell using herbs and it's specific wording that I liked uh, this I got this from the grimoire uh, for the green witch and I had already showed you guys these pages this is a while ago so you might not you know it's okay if you don't remember <laughs> but I, I promise you I did show these pages before and um uh, these were taken from a book. Like, I love this one here. This is a chord spell. I got this from Pinterest. But, like, it's that wording, by not of one, the spell begun. This is a very common one. A lot of people know this. I wanted to definitely add this to my book. <laughs> Sage clearing ritual. So there's some information from there. Uh, daily prayer to the goddess. All this sort of stuff. This is a full moon release spell. The words for that. Um... I dig this also from Pinterest. It, I just kind of really got inspired uh, by a bunch of stuff on Pinterest. So this is about home. And uh, it says, may this home be blessed. May good, fortune to, uh, may good fortune to follow those who pass through this door. So this is something I could say as I'm, you know, doing a, a cleansing. And I just kind of want to put, you know, another blessing of sorts on the house. I'm a cottage witch. This kind of goes hand in hand, so I had to include this. This is about house cleaning. Negative energy may not stay. I release it and send it send it on its way. Negative energy, I banish thee and is my word, so mood it be. Also take it from Pinterest. I have a home protection spell here. I um, added the words here. Now, 
this is a place I store this so I can always come back to it and take a look and use this. This one is for a healing spell. Healing thoughts sent in flight bring the brightest of blessings this night. Sending this healing white light from above surround my friend now in healing love. So it's this is you know what I got so I can say surround myself now in healing love or you know friend who if you're doing this for somebody. Um, chant for a peace of mind um, so I have that here and then uh, something for luck so I just added a, like I said a few more pages um, and I of course I like using stickers and decorating there's no reason I could just write this but it catches the eye and it's easy to find things um, like this is full moon blessing and like moon of finest silver wane take away bad luck and pain as you fade into the night bring new hope back in sight like I may not need this now but later when I'm working on something uh, full moon blessing this is perfect I can come here and I could find something um, I may not use the exact words you know what I mean but I can this is my book of words spell words and rituals and things like that banish illness so, as this candle burns so the illness turns melt it like this wax cut like with an axe remove and banished all disabilities vanished as my word you see radiant health blessed be like I don't have the gift of rhyme like that. <laughs> I told you I'm a witch without bars so it's a struggle for me this book is coming in handy let me just be very clear it's already working uh, professional success spell so it's just the verbiage success is coming soon to me prosperity is flowing on to me so mo to be and then for patience and this is the last thing for binding magic, which I definitely want to <laughs> take them, bind them round and round, stop them, gag them, <laughs> excuse me, gag them free from sound. I take the fire from the south and purge the evil from their mouth. I take the hatred from their heart and there the seed of love doeth start until they come in gentle guise. Remove this person from my eyes. Bind them, wrap them, tie them tight, remove this person from my sight. Um, and I even have like suggestion things on here <laughs> uh, that I might want to add on. But the point is, this is just some binding magic. And again, I make a little note where I got this from. I got this from Pinterest. Uh, but yeah, so far, this is, you know, I've added these extra things in here. And, um, you know, there's still more to go. I'll still keep going. And eventually, hopefully, I'll have my own words. Maybe this will inspire me and I will get my bars, my witchy bars <laughs> for spells. But this is a book. And this is a simple notebook that I got around Halloween time uh, from TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure it was TJ Maxx. So yeah I just kind of wanted to share a little update on my book of spell words because this little book is becoming very valuable it's not the same as my book of shadows or my grimoire it's just my personal reference that I go out of my way to make add stickers and make cute um, but that's just me so um, yeah this is just for me to have a reference of these words because I like this is sometimes honestly really hard I think for me um, when I'm creating a spell and I know what I want and it's when you're creating a spell from scratch and maybe if you're writing it out it's one thing to gather all the supplies the candle colors all that some people work off the fly I do sometimes too however <laughs> when I'm trying to be a little bit more deliberate more intentional and I want to kind of spread it all out and organize it this right here is super helpful you know I could easily print off things and paste it which I'll probably get around to doing that also instead of just rewriting it the reason I've been writing it versus just printing and pasting onto the page is because I get satisfaction out of doing it this way using different colors the stickers and sometimes writing it resonates more with me so that I think it kind of locks something in my mind <laughs> And then I'm able to, you know, remember this later on that I, hey, I have something in there about success, about, you know, and it's a variation. You can see this is a little bit of everything in here. It's not just like one topic. Um, that's because I, you know, I don't do just one type of magic all the time. So, you know, the colors are just pleasing to the eye to me. Uh, like I'll know coming here, this is all about elements. If I'm looking for any wording that I want to add to a ritual or something like that. 
bam, I come here. It doesn't mean I won't add more at a late, you know, at another time, but this is it. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, just the, you know, something short and sweet to share with you guys. I just wanted you to see, um, you know, the updates I've been doing to my book of spell words and to inspire you. If you have some notebooks and, you know, laying around some cute little, especially if they're witchy like this, and you've been dying to do something, you already have a book, um, book of spells. You have it at have a grimoire you have you know book of shadows and so forth but you're looking for something else this is a great idea also you know just kind of recording bits and pieces little baubles of this and that it doesn't have to be your book of spell words it could be you know imagery you know you can print and paste and put it in your notebook and write maybe a little why you know that imagery stands out to you um all sorts of stuff so anyway I have this my other book <laughs> I'm gonna I decided on uh, the book that I, I think I want to use uh, for my crystal so I'll be sharing that soon my um I'm just saying my crystals my crystal I'm gonna create my own little crystal journal or crystal Bible if you will <laughs> my own personal one of the ones that I own as I own them I will take a picture of them print it out and put it in my journal so I've created or I I've decided on a journal for that purpose or a notebook or you'll see <laughs> but for now this is this one my book of spell words so uh, let me know in the comments if you like um, have started something like this um, you know if you put a notebook to good use for you know just your own personal witchy references let me know all right so thanks again for watching I am Mika this is Leap Taken Please like, subscribe, share. If you have already subscribed, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And as always, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.